the next session is a symposium uh, topic is endoscopic management of gi cancers do's and don'ts uh, i'd like to invite the chairpersons for this session uh, dr atul kumar agrawal consultant general gi and laparoscopic surgeon from bhopal dr tarun bharadwaj consultant gastroenterologist apollo sage hospital bhopal uh, dr amita singh consultant medical dietitian bhopal and dr mayank p pateria uh, consultant gastroenterologist at gastrocare hospital bhopal so for the symposium we'd like to invite our uh, speakers dr mohan ramchandani who would be uh, discussing on uh, throwing his light on the uh, topic we'll request dr mohan to start his presentation uh, thank you tarun uh, at the outset i thank uh, again dr sanjay kumar for uh, giving me this wonderful opportunity can i have my slides please yeah so i am talking about endoscopic resections of gi tumor yesterday we learned about how to diagnose them because unless we diagnose these gi cancers in early stage our five year survival remain dismal uh, cancer diagnosed in stomach five year survival is still in india is 35% and in esophagus it's 20% how can we prevent this mortality only by early diagnosis up till now we are diagnosing them in a symptomatic stage by the time patient comes to us with dysphagia uh, the patient has already metastasized and the lymph node metastasis is 30 to 40 percent as the depth of cancer increases towards from the mucosa to the muscle layer the lymph node starts uh, getting the malignant cell and m more of the time most of the time this type of uh, treatment will remain palliative if you want a curative treatment the cancer should be diagnosed early and now we are able to do that by endoscopic method not only do that but also treat them treat them by many modalities endoscopic resections like polypectomy which was there since long endoscopic mucosal resection and ESD is now been more commonly performed endoscopic mucosal resection is the resection of the mucosa by many methods one of the method is snare method where we do uh, 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 a tumor identification is the most important which is done by uh, uh, endoscopic method by using image enhanced endoscopy and once the tumor is identified and the layer of origin is determined that uh, looking by the look of these narrow band imaging or white light endoscopy if the tumor is limited to the mucosa or submucosa we mark this lesion and uh, if the lesion is less than 2 cm, we can do a band EMR. You can see here, we are applying a band. And once the band is applied, we can cut this tumor from the uh, base uh, using a very simple technique. This is known as band EMR. When you can do a cut of the base of the tumor by sucking it in a barrel of a, a variceal band, and then you can cut it. So this is known as band EMR. Similarly, you can do the, this tumor removal by CAP EMR, which I will not discuss because of the short of time. You can see the complete tumor can be removed using this type of band or CAP EMR. Uh, if you have a laterally spreading tumor, you can again do a, a band resection, a, a snare resection. You can see a very large tumor, but this tumor is uh, type 2A variety, genet type 2A, which is not very very submucosally invasive and if you have a good imaging or uh, endoscopic assessment that this is not a submucosally invasive tumor you can do a, a, a injection elevation of this tumor and keep on cutting from one end to other till you completely resect this tumor so this is known as a emr but piecemeal emr where if your endoscopic uh, assessment is very 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 important because if your endoscopic assessment says that it is a superficially invasive cancer you can remove by in emr like this because this type of treatment is very quick you can do it in 20 to 15 minutes 20 minutes and completely remove this tumor by doing this type of emr so this is a, a modality which is quick but endoscopic resection should only be confined to those where you have a very good assessment saying that you have a superficially invasive cancer and pathologists do not have an access to the margins because they will never be able to say because you have done at a piecemeal EMR. 
Now we are also doing cold polypectomies because uh, if these patients are uh, treated by uh, the polyps which are early cancers are treated by hot, e hot polypectomy, there is a post polypectomy syndrome like there can be a delayed bleed. Uh, but now uh, the dictum is uh, to do this type of cold polypectomy without using uh, cautery, just cutting them for any polyps which are less than 1 centimeter or one, uh, 10 millimeters. So this is the uh, new modality which prevents delayed bleeding and post polypectomy syndromes like uh, perforations. So this is the uh, new uh, uh, standard of care in a polyp which are less than 10 millimeters. ESD is a, another method where we can remove this polyp uh, in toto. That means which, which is much better than, uh, than the EMR which I discussed where we are doing piecemeal resection. Once we are doing piecemeal resection, we are not giving pathologists opportunity to tell us about the margins. But if you diagnose this cancers like this in early stage and you can do endoscopic submucosal dissection uh, by marking this tumor uh, by the cautery and subsequently using special knives and elevations and doing a submucosal dissection. Once you do submucosal dissection, you can completely remove the tumor. This is just opposite of EMR where we are, uh, uh, you know, taking care of margins and removing the full tumor by using many traction methods. Uh, yesterday we saw how we use the traction method to completely remove these early gastric cancer or early duodenal cancer and you can see whole tumor is completely removed and once you remove them you are not still uh, done you must subject this tumor completely to the pathologist pathologist will have a full sectioning and they will tell us about the tumor like this cancer which is limited to mucosa and there is no uh, this is the muscularis mucosa and you can see the cancer has yet not cross the muscularis mucosa. So this is a curative resection where the T T1A tumor which was diagnosed in an asymptomatic patient and complete cure was achieved by doing endoscopic resection. We are also now treating cancers arising from subepithelial lesions like uh, a, a leomyoma in the, in the esophagus. You can see there is a big leomyoma in the esophagus and you can do a tunneling creating a mucosal incision and just going towards that uh, underneath the mucosa. You can see that there, there's a tumor, you have to create a mucosal incision, then submucosal dissection, and subsequently you can go inside uh, the tunnel and completely remove these uh, tumors by a procedure known as e, uh, the uh, STER, submucosal tunneling and endoscopic resection. So this is how the tumor is removed and complete excision is achieved without disturbing the mucosa and the muscle and, that, and the mucosal entry side is closed and whole tumor is subjected to the histopathological assessment to tell us about the margins. I will not go into this detail because of the lack of time but we can do a full thickness resections from the gastric uh, gist also uh, by removing these tumors in toto with the muscle but as we saw yesterday in the live demonstration once we remove complete tumor we endoscopically clip the muscle defect and completely take care of the the the, uh, the defect which was there you can see the tumor is completely removed from the uh, site which is not uh, accessible for stir uh, and uh, a full thickness resection along the muscle is done and complete cure can be achieved. Rectal NETs also can be removed by many other methods. Uh, this is one of the device assisted method where a, a device is uh, attached with a full thickness closer clips that is known as OTSC clips and this tumor is sucked into the barrel, clip is applied and tumor is cut. So this is good for less than 2 centimeter tumors which is uh, now, up till now were surgically treated, now can be treated by uh, full thickness resection. So in the end I will say that EMR, ESD and third space endoscopy which have changed the paradigm, it requires some special training but once it is achieved the, the learning curve is not long and uh, uh, tumor can be removed in total. The, uh, the primary thing is one should diagnose these cancer early stage so that if they are limited to mucosa and, and the submucosa and the tumors even arising in the submucosa or even from the muscle layer can now be removed. 
If you want to learn more, you can join us for these two major, major conferences which is happening in AIG where uh, a faculty from all over the world, the leading faculty will be coming and you are most welcome to uh, join us. Thank you very much.